This isn't even fair. Hey guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid. I had intended to sleep at that house, but I was actually very danger- Oh, shoot. I was in a lot of danger there. Because you really can't encounter any zombies at this time of day uh, without any danger. You've got to confront them in the day. There's no- like, even one zombie at night is going to get a chance to scratch you, unless if you have, like, a, a good blunt weapon. Um, and I did get scratched on the head, so there's a slight chance that I'm infected. It's pretty doubtful, because usually the infection's immediate. Um, but I am in a little bit of danger right here, I just want to let you know. So, I'm gonna head back to my own main house. I'm just gonna see if I can find the way back there. I've gotta go back off the beaten path. Um, and onto the kind of gravel roads that we had over there. So I'm gonna head back over here and up. And then eventually we'll be back at the safety of our own home. Uh, I'm pretty thankful for all the tips that everybody's been giving me over the last couple videos too. Because it's made me, just in general, a better player. Uh, there's a couple things I didn't see that I should've. So thanks. Keep it up with all the tips, guys. It's really helpful. Um. Let me see. Head back up. Going back up here, and now... I think it was off this way. Either here or- oh yeah, there's- there's the outhouse. I know where I am now. It's slightly to the northwest of here, I think. Just have to go through one or two more fields. I think it's off in this direction. It's either this side or the other side. Slightly further north or south. Just crazy though out here in West Point how easy it is to lose track of your own house. It's like, where did I put it? I think it's off up here. Okay, yeah, here's the road that we want to get to. I think. Just gotta keep searching through this. See if this is the right one. As long as I see that blue van on the way there, then I know that I'm headed to the right place. Yep, this is the right way. Okay, finally I'm back home. I gotta set out some, like, breadcrumbs or other markers to help me trace my way back, because... Despite the fact that my house is so safe, being so secluded from everything, it is kind of hard for me to find it. So I might want to change a few things here. But there's most certainly not going to be any zombies here for a long time. So I'm just going to park in my loud-ass car. <laughs> there we go, now I'll take that out. Great. Uh, home sweet home. No, I guess I could afford to keep the lights on for a little bit longer. Really, I mean, there's no harm in it. Well, I've still got power, I might as well. Eventually I'll be able to get up a roaring fire in here. I just start cutting down some trees, getting a wood stockpile somewhere, because eventually I'm going to need that for light, for warmth, for morale, what have you. Let's get on all the lights if we can. Now that light is on too. Where are the kitchen lights anyway? Alright, well, in the meantime we'll add some sheets to these other windows in the downstairs so that we could have on lights. Have that luxury. Just make it slightly easier to see. Now, I don't want to turn up the game's brightness because I think that's cheating. Let's see, I'll head over here. Add one to this one, too. Good. And all the rest of the downstairs is pretty much covered. This is fine. Is there another light switch over here? No, I can't see one. So I'm just going to assume that there's not. I guess they just chose not to have lights in the dining room for these for these people in their house. Uh, I thought there was a door over here. Oh no, it's over here. Oh, it's really ridiculously dark right now. There's not even a light switch over here? I guess they just did everything with lamps. This house. This is my main bedroom. Yeah, I kept on the light in here. This is the one I'm going to kind of transfer over from. I realized I was sleeping in a child's bed. I was like, this won't do. I need somewhere much more comfortable than this. There we go. So let's put this in. Put some sheets in there too. I don't need two water bottles on me. I don't know why I've got that. I'm going to put... 
one into the container. What do I have to do? I have to put one in and then I take out the other one. Oh no, I accidentally just put them into my bag for one second. Oops. Now, where did I put them? Oh dang, maybe I was looking at- oh no, I did. I put it in the original place where I thought I did. Good. Okay, let's take one. And that's it. Okay, now let's see if we have any clothing to drop off here. I do plan on keeping this my main clothing storage. Uh, nothing there. I do have... You know, I should really get like an armory for guns, guns and weapons, rather than just keeping them with the tools in the garage. Hmm, let's see. Well, eventually I'll build a shed outside. But for right now, I think I'm going to just keep them on the floor in the in the garage. Seems like a more organized place than any other to keep them anyway. Okay, I'll put the rounds on the ground. I should also have a place where I put like, uh, repair items. So I'll have wood glue over here. So we got other foods. Yeah, pretty much everything else in here is just food. Food and a couple of books. Now I don't really feel safe on the lower floor. I don't I don't know why. It's just like I mean, it's, it's kind of like role play. Like if this were actually happening to me, I would never feel safe on the first story <laughs> ever again knowing that somebody could just jump in the window and be like, "Ah!" And I'd be like, "Ah!" That would be it for me. I'd, I would just not be on the first I would not be a first floor kind of person anymore. Let's throw all of this in here. Chocolate, chips, cereal, all this disgusting processed. There we go. <laughs> I guess he sounds like somebody on some sort of like vegan kick right now. Oh, what if I am? Let's get those. I'm just going to want all my gardening gear in here, too. Yeah, I'm going to want an extra spot for that. I'll have, like, several different sheds. Oh, I'm going to be so organized a few months from now, like, at episode 56 or whatever we get up to. God help me if I get up to episode 56. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made it that far in one of these things. I remember having a, a CD player. One of these rooms. I can't even see a thing. Thing anymore. I should have put on night vision when I first did this. Huh. Yeah, there it was. CD player, and I'll put my CD with it. My one CD of... I don't know who Stevie... If I had, like, one CD left, who would I listen? Maybe Stevie Wonder. Oh, he's a pretty happy dude. I don't know what I would listen to for the rest of my life. Alright. Well, uh... Ridiculously tired, hungry. I guess I have to end the hunger before I go to bed, though. It's never easy to go to sleep on a on an empty stomach. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna eat straight up bags of chips. I'm not gonna do anything fancy tonight. Still not really thinking too much about my cooking until I have something, like, really good set up. Eventually I get fires and stuff. Just come to think of it, it might have been a good night to cook. Uh, on the, at the same time, I also want to start to get better at some skills that I'm going to need to do. So let's see, cooking well. Uh, now's a better time than any. So I'm going to unpack the cooking book. And I'll probably just read this until I go to sleep. Because I seem to be waking up a little bit too early. So I want to get a little bit of reading time in. Yeah, uh, let's see. I'll read this for a while. It's going to speed up time a little bit. I don't, I don't want to read too much. I'll still have my progress in the book. All right, let's go to bed now. Let's sleep for a while. Now, I could set the alarm clock, but I'm not really on such a regular schedule yet. Drowsy. Thirsty. Now, let's see how light out it's going to be when I wake up. I might not be hitting any more flaming hordes today, but I do want to see what became of the one that I left in town. So, I will do that. Let's see, open up these curtains. Oh, it's actually a normal hour. Wow, that was like the first normal sleep day I've had since... It happened. <laughs> it would be so hard to sleep if I knew it was the zombie apocalypse. It would be like Christmas Eve. There we go. Let's get that in there. 
Rip cheats. I'll keep these on me in case if I need uh, bandages. Batter. I don't see the point of carrying around a lot of these things. Can of oats. Peanut butter. Paper clip. Are paper clips even used for anything? Maybe like some obscure tool. So throw that in there. Throw that in there. My hunting knife is in pretty good condition. My lighter in case if I find any more Molotovs. Alright, I think today I'm going to do more scavenging. I want to see if I could find that, um... You know, I think I left the gas can in the trunk. I want to see if I can get to the pump. Probably going to see if I can go further south in West Point. Back to where that horde wasn't letting me get through really before. So I'm going to head back there to West Point. See if I can get some gas. See if we can find extra gas cans in people's garages. And then eventually I'll want to... See if I could clear out a few more hordes, get some more combat experience. That and consume perishables. So I might do a grocery store raid soon. But I kind of like the idea of, you know, um, like getting back to my own house every single night. I've had so many Zomboid playthroughs where because you didn't have a vehicle, you would have to kind of stay in some makeshift place overnight. It's really nice and it's completely changed up the gameplay to have these cars. Have like separate worlds for your home. And for your looting and stuff. Where you go out, where you come back. And apparently I'm hot right now. Now, I hadn't really thought much about this, but I can't start to sort of use cars. Well, that appears to be looking kind of strange. I could use cards for temperature regulation. So if I get really hot or really cool, then I could use cars instead of a sweater, really. It'll be like big metal sweaters or something. Okay, let's go up here. Now, I don't know what happened to my car, but it seems to be glowing a bit. It's like, I kind of like it, to be honest, but it's probably not right or something like that. And let's see. Oh, here's the house. Wow. I'm kind of eager to see what happened to this whole thing. Now, they shouldn't be too attractive. They'll be attracted to me mainly, but... I'm like... I'm like super excited to find out what happened. Oh man, they're all still on fire! I would have thought that given a day... <laughs> Maybe I'll have to wait like a week, a month, a year. I don't know, kind of cool though. Kind of cool that they're still on fire, but I'm kind of pissed. I was hoping that it would all just be burnt out ash today. Okay, let's see now. Um, there's still a lot of zombies here, so this doesn't really look very promising. I might have to just go to the other part of town and, you know, deal with it. Let's see. Wow, yeah, I'm starting to get FPS lag. It's probably because there's a bunch of burning flaming zombies right nearby me. This part of town, was this where it was? Uh, no, I think it was actually further back a bit, so... Maybe now I won't get so much lag? I just want to get to the pumps, man. I've never actually put gas directly into a car. I had made a tutorial video that said you couldn't, because I didn't know that you could. And then eventually I got corrected, so that was kind of nice. I want to see if I could do that with the car right now, though. I'm just going out of memory with West Point, and I rarely play West Point, so my memory is very unreliable right here, but let's see if we can find it. I think it's in, like, the southwestern part of the city. Am I up in the boonies? Where am I? I know this way leads to, like, nothing. I thought it did. Well, I guess I'm just going to keep on driving around until I run out of fuel or something like that. I could siphon gas from another car, but then that would be very, uh, I don't know, risky. I'd prefer not to do that, really. Okay, now we're getting into more familiar territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks familiar. Yeah, this is the residential part. It's all residential. It might be over here. It might be. Yeah, this is the playground. Oh, yeah, it's somewhere over here. I'm getting close. If I don't find any of that, I'm just going to go to Twiggy's, get a lot of whiskey, and 
Oh, wait. Yeah, parking lot. You know, let's just siphon gas from some of these. As I was saying, I'll probably just get a lot of whiskey and then... Uh, be up to a lot of mischief. Oh! Wow. I'm not too happy about this. Look at them all. Wow. Alright, let's get that gas can into our inventory. Alright, now it is day, right? Siphon gas. Oh, beautiful. Oh no. Ah, uh, why, why do you approach me thus? Siphon the gas. Okay, good, I'm getting more gas. Wow, who knew that all the- it would be so- No, I don't want to add the gas. Who would have thought that it would have been this easy? Alright, so let's head back to my own car. Add gas. It's amazing that it- that is that fast. I feel as though it should take a longer time. Wow, that- I'm like back up to a full tank. No. Not quite. Not nearly, but... But I may as well be for the amount of time that I spent siphoning gasoline. I mean, for Christ's sake. That was good. Get some more. I guess the other cars don't like me sticking pipes into them and sucking out the juice that... <laughs> now I'm overthinking this. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, wow, a siren. It would be great to have a siren. How good is the condition on this car? It might not even matter if it doesn't have a key to it. And taxi key, oh. Hello. Add gasoline. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm pretty panicked right now, too. I'm gonna be kind of inaccurate. Now, I'm getting close here. I'm getting close to... I think the other gas station. Now, I think it's just a little bit of ways up. Alright, let's see if I can find... Right over here, I know, is the gas station. I just had to refresh my memory a bit. I really would like to find a better car now because this one's just been thrown through so many hordes. I think I should really invest in like a second car. I should get one for just moving fast, getting around everywhere, and then another car for... Um, let's see, where is the gas side of this one? One car for moving around and one, cr one car for getting through hordes. That should really be your, your go-to now, now that cars are in the game. I gotta try this. Um, okay, I'm gonna try driving it up. Okay, let's try getting out of the car now. Uh, there we go. Take fuel. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can pump it into the car. Oh, here we go. Refuel from gas pump. Wow, nice. Okay, so now I should have full gas. And my car is completely surrounded again. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is a problem. This is a problem! Oh no, they're all over the car. They're all over the car. Crap, man. That's like... I can't get back in my hot rod. That's... It's an issue. Oh no, my car was so beautiful! Dude, I- I'm fighting for my car! Oh, there we go. Great. Okay, I got back the car. Everything's alright. Everything's alright. I got a full gas tank too, which is perhaps better than the car. It's- uh, No, nothing could be better than the car. It's, this is one of the finest cars in Project Zombie. Look at that turn! That's like an action movie turn. That is so freaking cool. These cars must be really hard to find. Alright, let's see if we can actually get a second one. Because if I could get a second one of these cars, I would pretty much... I would pretty much just die. None over here. Now I... I mean, where are you gonna find other nice cars? Maybe in like some random guy's driveway, like he shines it a lot and he looks at it. And he doesn't pay enough attention to his family. Either there or... No, people who shop at the gun store wouldn't get, like, really nice cars. Because they spend all their money on guns. Unless if they have enough money for guns and cars. <laughs> the great American pastimes. Oh, God. Come the fuck on, man. 
Oh, that's sad. This car is just about... You know, like, I've been improving my driving skills. Or making them worse. And... This car has really been the victim of it. What about this one? This is kind of a nice car. It's been like trying shit out. <laughs> uh, this one has a key. And I have gas. The zombies are literally like just jumping- Okay, I guess this is my new ride. It's much blockier and uglier, but... You know what? Old car, I loved you, but you have taken such a beating. Um, I'm going to remove the last of your gasoline. Oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Add gasoline to this one, then I'm going to siphon gasoline from this one. And I'm pretty much done with this car. Farewell, good car. I liked that car a lot. You can tell. Let's switch around our seat. And I wonder how much how much crap this one will be able to go through. I'm gonna use this one until I could find a car as nice as that last one. I mean it looks stronger. It looks like more durable. Like I could get into a car accident and I would be alright. Only the other driver would get hurt. Let's or in this case other uh I guess pedestrian- are zombies technically pedestrians? Well, this has gotten way too existential. Okay, let's see if we could find anything over at, uh... At Twiggy's in the gun store. Because if I could find something good there- Oh, and you know what I'd also like to do is check out that test track. I have a couple of goals this play- Oh... I have a couple of goals this playthrough. Most of which are to destroy... The few important cars that I'm given. Get a lot of gas. I don't know, just kind of screw around, mess around with farming. Yeah, I just kind of want to have a good time this playthrough is all, really. Part of that uh, includes testing out new stuff. This is not exactly where I wanted to go. This is further out of West Point. Um, where is it again? I think I need to go slightly further north to the gun shop and Twiggies. And then eventually I'll head over to the next town over. I'd probably like to go to the movie theater and the mall too. I mean, there's bound to be some good cars in the mall or by the mall. Now, I wonder if they have any of them on display as well. That would be kind of dope. Yeah, I think it's up here. Yeah, here we go. Twiggies and the gun shop. I mean, are there any drinkers with nice cars? Nah. That nah, gun shop isn't really home to any of them, too. It's too bad. Let's see, is there any chance that I could... Nah, there really isn't. Oh, there's actually zombies in the gun shop. Now, to get in there, I'm going to need a sledgehammer, though. So I'm going to have to head back down to... uh to Muldrow to get another, um, another sledgehammer. I mean, there's other places in West Point that you could go, and none of them come to mind, though. It's just been so long since I last did West Point. So I know exactly where to head out to. I don't know, I mean, I kind of just feel like having a good time this playthrough. I've got a lot of the main things that I need stockpiled. I suppose that gasoline isn't really as big as of a need as I thought it was at first. Because, um, uh, pretty much half the cars have enough gasoline in them, so I might just head right back out to Muldrow, then come back here, and then go to the gun store. Yeah, because I can't really think of any other better way to spend my zomboid existence, so I may as well do it this way. One ridiculous thing after another. That's the way it works. Ah, and this car seems much more efficient for, uh, killing zombies. Oh, shoot, it just became night all of a sudden, though, and I... I'm in the midst of a lot of running zombies. This hasn't happened yet, has it? I don't think it has. Now, if I run into that big-ass horde, I'm dead meat. And I really can't get out of the car now. Or I'm screwed. Oh, this is not an intentional, uh, intentional horde encounter. Don't get it twisted. Wow. Wow, that is... 
bad for the game. Let's see if we can get through this. Uh oh, oh, it's like a block party. Oh no, it's like a Blink-182 music video. <laughs> Except they're not teenagers coming out of people's houses at night. Oh man, look at all of them. There they come out. Oh no. Here we go, I just gotta get out of this friggin' town. Oh no. Oh crap. Crap, am I dead? I could be dead here. They are very fast and strong. Now, if the game doesn't crash, because there's actually quite a lot of them on me right now, I might make it out of this. Wow, look at them all. Oh, wow. For some reason, my car is slowing down. I mean, am I just gonna be doomed to be eaten alive? It's possible. I think as long as I don't stop, it's harder for them to reach into the windows or something. Wow, this isn't even... This isn't even fair. Oh my gosh, I, I think I might have actually doomed myself. I don't know if there's any way out of this. Wow, I was just about to get so many guns and it was finally going to be easy and nice. I think I did get stuck though. So this is possible. I hadn't even known this. Wow. And that's how the- that's how it ends. Well, at the very least, can I get zombies all over the screen? I'm gonna try to keep, like, shimmying around. And see what I can do with this. I wanna cover the entire screen with zombies. That's always been my goal in Zomboid. I think that's my- No, that's their blood. Not mine. Well, I covered them all over a small part of the screen. Can I get a slightly larger part of the screen? You know, like... This playthrough is worth it. I burned a lot of zombies. I got caught in a massive horde of them. You're like a big sandwich. <laughs> now it's like a Blink-182 concert, not like a Blink-182 movie. Or music video. I wonder if my headlights still work. Can I at least turn on some music while I die? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I always like the few randomly, like, 3D modeled zombies in the big court of- I feel so loved. And at once- <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't gotten through the windows yet. And that the game hasn't crashed yet. Usually by this time, the game has crashed. I think it's- come on, it's crashing, right? Come on, crash. Crash. <laughs> it, at least it happened underneath this nice street post, that way I could see it all happen. Now can I, like, waddle my way out? I think backing up, actually, is it possible? No, there's no, there's no way, there's too many bodies now. But I want to see if they don't get into the windows. Or if they do. Obviously I can't get out of the car. Oh no, now, now I'm being eaten. Yeah, this is the end. Can we get the whole screen though? No, we didn't even get the whole screen. This wasn't even worth it then. Oh man. At least I got zombified in the end. Well, I uh... A quick end to a series that I thought would go on longer. I'm I'm honestly okay that it's done this though because uh, a lot for a gr to a great extent the game is not ready for this type of <laughs> this these types of settings yet. Um, there's gonna need to be a lot more. I don't know. I guess optimization for this sandbox setting with the vehicles in order for this to not lag out completely. But I mean, to be fair, I would have died anyway, so it's not like that the lag killed me or anything like that. But I don't know, maybe if I had done it with the other car, but then the other car would have gotten destroyed. I don't know, it was kind of fun. It was worth it to me. I think the next time I do it, I'll probably try to do it a little bit more cinematically with I Am Legend now that I know how some of the settings work. I know that you shouldn't set the zombies to superhuman strength, otherwise you just 
You get like random deaths. I know you have to set them to normal. And it's honestly really scary out at night and you really can't ever even be near zombies at night. Otherwise you get stuff like this happening. Alright, um, <laughs> let me know if there's any other challenges you want to see. I'm trying to think them up in my mind. I've got a few other ideas for the few- Whoa, my car's model is gone. That is so cool. Oh, it, it's back now. Never mind. Oh, well. Alright. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.